Hey, it's Day of Days 2023. I'm with Remington Hoffman and Dan Furigal. It's so nice to see you guys. It's been like a full... Uh, well, yeah. we talked when you got an Emmy yeah. nomination. That is true. Yes, yes, yes. Which hasn't did. happened yet. I know. You Apparently, remember? Wait, Dan, is not, Dan is an Emmy nominee. Let's not forget. I, that's true, because I, I do forget. I do forget until someone says it. I'm like, oh, that's right. There was, Emmys apparently were supposed to be on. I think uh, I think they were aiming for September, but obviously that didn't happen. So I guess whenever the SAG strike is over, that's when they'll plan. They'll have it. Yeah. Okay. Even though the, the winners are already known. Right. Like, we just don't know. Yeah, we just don't know. Like, if they're do you know and you're not telling me? No, I have no idea. I think it's in the envelope. It's it's all ready, so it's in a vault or something. But I think they're already known. But you do remember you are an Emmy nominee. I do remember that. I do remember that, and uh, I will use that from time to time. I would throw it out there. <laughs> I just forget. What is the relationship really between uh, uh, your character and EJ Lee? Do they even can they stand each other? Well, we've been talking about that this morning. This is what I wanted to know. I was like, well, do they... like what's Enemies, the enemy is my best friend. Frenemies and enemies. Yes. Yeah, frenemies and enemies. I was saying earlier that I feel like Lee, because he can't trust EJ, then he can trust him a little bit because he knows he can't so trust him. Like, I'm so transparent with my treachery and, and just yes. ridiculousness that you're like, uh-huh. Like, you, you'll go along with it but then you're planning for the flip. And so I guess that's where the chess game comes in with the both of us, because we're going, which way are you going to go? Because I know you're going to betray me, but are you going to pretend to you're going to betray me? Or are you going to really, yeah, yeah. You're, you're gonna it? So it's that kind of a, and that's where the fun. But the in fun the end, what does, what does Lee want at this point? Does he want to own the, like what's his ultimate goal? Do we even know? Lee's ultimate goal is always to own the world. Own the world, control everything, be in full control of everything, uh, get Gabby, get 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 everything that he wants. Um, <laughs> get, the get, get the girl, get the girl, get the girl, get the girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, is he obsessed was, with Gabby? Was, well, he's obsessed with Gabby, but I think that he really is looking towards Melinda Trask and their relationship now. I, I think that's I think that's for real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The feisty Tina. <laughs> yes. Um, and where's EJ now? Is his goal just to be out of the company? Like, what is he? He want? just wants to be the CEO of Demera Enterprises. He's always wanting to be in charge. Like he wants that power. So his whole thing is family and legacy, and he believes that he is the only person that is going to make Demera Enterprises what it used to be. He believes he's the you know Stefano times a thousand. Okay, so what does he think of Chad? I've, well, I've had so many scenes where I'm like, I don't like you. I like you. I like, right. I'm I like, think, does he love his brother? Yes. I think it? there's, regardless, there's, regardless of what he does, underneath, there's absolute pure love. Um, <clears throat> and I think he believes that, that uh, EJ being uh, the CEO of Demiria Enterprises is best for them. And so he's doing this for a very selfish but also positive kind of reason chad i think i just think chad is he's a sweet the sweet puppy of the demira clan Demira-Clan. yeah and so you no you're not you <laughs> like you can't do you can't you be can't ruthless you're not the ruthless. Yeah. you're the lover you're not the fighter and so you know that's that's what he thinks of and also like everything that he's gone through um ej feels very very guilty about all that so he doesn't necessarily want to put like there's no i'm probably rambling on now but um you're an emmy nominee you can ramble oh yeah <laughs> you love me you really love me um <laughs> i think <clears throat> i think now because of what the guilt and what chad has gone through ej is much more shall we say lenient and like that's okay it's all right. Like you go off and you, and he tries to help him, give him advice for this, give him advice for that. Um, especially the the last week's episode where I believe uh, he was, it was like the the one year anniversary or something like that coming up for, for Abigail. And so, Abigail. yeah, so the, and the guilt comes up again. And he's just like, I'm so sorry. And and I think there's a lot of, a lot of love for Chad and he wants to protect him, but he's not the one to be, in charge. In charge. Yeah, he's not the. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Now, what does Lee think of Stefan? Say again. What does Lee think of Stefan? 
Oh, gosh. Um, Does he want him completely out of the way of everything? I would say, yeah. He always wants him out of the way of everything. Yeah. But of course. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, like, oh, that's right. That's oh, that's line. right. Yeah. That's the storyline. He, 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 he. Well, you're six months ahead now of air or yes. nine? Six. 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 So they've closed the gap a little bit. Yes. Um, but do you guys forget where you're at? No. Uh, yes. Um, <laughs> yes, absolutely. No, yeah, yeah. You're like, like because Gabby has feelings for old school stuff. Oh, oh, always, school always. Stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. Always. He always wants him out. He always wants him out of the... Lee always wants Stefan out of the picture. But it's like, the question was funny because what does he personally feel about Stefan if Gabby wasn't in the picture? Because we were picture. talking so much about Damaris, right? And I don't think that he has a huge problem at all with him personally. It's that he's in the way of something that Lee wants. And no matter who it would be, if you're in the way of something that Lee wants, he's he wa he's going to get you out of the way. Yeah. 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 Well, it's the old flame that part that hurts because yeah. he because he, she loves him. Yeah, because she truly she truly loves, loves him. Yeah, and then and you know the question is, is does Lee love Gabby or does Lee just want something that he can't have? What do you, what's your, right? I say he wants something he can't have. I say he wants something he can't have, but then he falls in love with her. Yeah. What's your, in, in regards to that? Um, I, I think, uh, yeah, I, I mean, you know your character better than I do. Um, but if you were looking from the outside, he loves her. Oh, definitely. Because the way Gabby treats him, I'm like, bro. <laughs> what are you doing? I know. What are you doing? <laughs> what, are you doing? what are you doing? Come on. Come on, bro. Come on. Come on. All right. Well, it's been great to see you both again. Watch Dan and Remington on Days of Our Lives streaming on Peacock weekdays. Uh, lots of Demira, chin, action, feisty manipulations, machinations. All right. Thanks. Thank you.